Okay, so the purpose of this video is to talk a little bit about um, installing Samba. Uh, Samba is the open source version of SMB. SMB is um, the storage system that Microsoft, Linux, and uh, Mac OS use as a file share. Um, and what that's going to allow you to do is have something similar to this where you have a server on a remote network and it lets you save multiple files um, uh, as a shared drive and then many different systems can connect to it uh, seamlessly. So we're going to set that up on um, Ubuntu, a Ubuntu server. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is uh, right now we're logged into a Ubuntu server. Um, so this is something which we set up over SSH. Uh, so this server is set up as a Ubuntu server. We can show that here. So you have the server, you have the, it's a Ubuntu server um, running kernel 4.15 and uh, what we're going to do is set up SMB. So the first thing to do is to install the Samba service. So that's what we're going to do. Go sudo apt install Samba. So this is going to install the package and dependencies for it. Um, we'll go into uh, some things in the troubleshooting tips in case any dependency isn't installed. Um, now we're going to go to the SMB config file. We see this SMB config. You can also see an SMB config back. That's a backup I already made of this config file. Um, now the process for setting up the config file, we're going to refer to this Ubuntu website over here and I'll link this in the blog. This is going to be a basic list of uh, steps to set up the Samba share. Um, so first thing, install Samba. We just did that. Uh, where is Samba? Okay, we kind of know where it is. Setting up Samba. So just say we're going to make a directory with a specific username. Uh, what we already did, and I can uh, CD to it, is we made a user. Um, so if you run the command uh, sudo add user and then you add a username, the system will automatically generate a user. Um, I already did that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the home. So we see we have this SMB share 01. That's going to be our user for the SMB share. Um, that's a user which I previously created on this particular server for this purpose. Um, but what you would do would just be the, again, the add user uh, SMB share 01, and you probably need to use sudo. Uh, if you did that, then you'd get prompted for a password. You enter your password for the user, and it would auto create this, this folder. Um, inside this, so if we go uh, change directory SMB share 01. You can see we have this SMB share 01. Uh, this is a separate directory, which I created using make directory, uh, this command. So I can also make, say, a test folder. Um, it's giving me permission denied because I'm not the uh, SMB share 01 user. Um, but essentially what you would do would be similar. If, if I was the user, and you can change to that by going SMB share 01. Um, SU is essentially change user or a switch user. Um, and then uh, switch user to SMB share 01, you become the user and you could create files. So that's where we have. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to the uh, Etsy Samba. We have the SMB config file. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit that. 
we're going to use uh, Ubuntu's default editing tool, which is uh, Nano. So we go sudo nano smb.config. And what we want to do is we want to scroll down. So we have this work group that's at the work group. Uh, DNS proxy nil. This is commented out. So all of these um, number lines, these essentially are comments. So what you see here in green is comments. Um, max log size is fine. Um, authentication, standalone server, that's fine. Well, this should be fine. Things with a semicolon are also uh, essentially commented out. They're not. They're not what we're setting as the active configurations for this. Um, printers. We're going to comment that out as well. We don't need printers. Uh, if you did have printers, maybe this is useful. Um, in this example, it's not. So all we want to do is have a file share. So we don't need any of this. Okay, rate list, roost. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look over here. So this is the, the guide for setting up Samba. We're going to copy this. So just copy paste. Copy. Go over here in the Ubuntu terminal or bash, um, we do control shift V, that copies the text over. Um, we're going to change the name of the share. So what we're going to call this is just SMB share 01, similar to our file folder. It doesn't have to be the same as the file folder, we're just setting it the same. Uh, the path, now the path does need to be the same. So we say SMB share 01, and then folder SMB share 01, read only no, browsable yes. Okay, that should be good. Now, what we do is we do control X. This is this exit command over here. Um, and the way Nano works is when you exit, if you change anything, it'll ask you to save. You say yes. I'll write it to this file folder. Okay, we're good. Um, now, when we do that, uh, you can see we already have the uh, smbconfig.back. Um, I would highly recommend before changing any of these config files to save a backup. To save a backup, what you do is you do sudo cp. cp is the copy command in Linux. Um, and we can say copy config.back. This is what I created originally. Um, we could say config a one dot back this time and we'll put in the original name of this is config smb config to smb config a one so this is a quick copy command um, once you run that ls again list uh, show what's inside this directory or in this folder and you can see okay so we have smb config we have smb config back we also have smb config back um, and then all, all three of these are just separate file folders. The default that SMB is going to use is just this smb.config. So essentially all you're doing is ensuring you have a backup copy um, in case you ever need to change it. So you could always you know, change the name of this smb.config folder, uh, change the name of this uh, smb.config01.back to the original copy and you can restart smbd, which is what we're going to do right now. Um, so we'll go sudo service uh, smbd status. This is going to give us the status of the uh, smb daemon that we just installed. Okay, so it's loaded, it's inactive. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring it up, go enable. Okay, didn't like enable. We'll go start. There you go. We'll go status again. 
okay now it's running so essentially the SMB uh, status should be active now one thing we did not do which we do need to do is set a password uh, for this SMB status so let's do that right now we have um, we'll go to the original or home home directory um, and we'll run this command sudo smb password or passwd um, and then we'll say we're going to run that for user smb share a one uh, and where did I get this command well I got it from over here so in the usage guide for this you have to set a password for a person who has the password and then insert a username um, so let's run that right now so SMB share a one what's the SMB bird um, just for test sake uh, because this isn't a permanent change we'll just do SMB share a one Okay, how to use it, SMB share one. Okay. And then now let's just try to log in. Let's see if we can actually access this system and, and log in. So go over here. Um, type in the share. So SMB, oh, this is in Linux. Um, and then we'll give the uh, IP address. So if we don't know the IP address, we can just type IP address over here. And we see on this uh, ENS3, we have this IP address. So it's 22, uh, 192.168.123.227. So we'll enter that here. And then the name of the SMB share. Um, and I believe we set it to SMB share one. Okay. Just double checking the IP address. Uh, sorry. One other thing that they mentioned in the guide, which we forgot to do, is change the firewall rules. So let me do that. Okay. So we definitely do need to allow. Samba, so we say allow Samba. Rule added, check status again. Samba's added. Okay, I think we're. Sh I think we should be good to go. Um, that's the wrong one. Sorry. Now we connect as the user, um, and again, the user that we're using is SMB share 01. Okay, we're connected. So we connected successfully. Let's see if we can create a folder, test, create. We're good. And that's essentially it. So. That's pretty much all you need to do to set up a Samba share on Ubuntu. I'm going to include a couple of other links um, about setting this up for uh, other systems. But I hopefully this is a good quick tutorial about um, what this looks like and also how you know setting up servers can be useful. Um, I'm also going to go through a couple of tricks. Uh, about settings like um, cron tabs to auto backup or cron jobs to auto backup uh, servers um, and backup uh, environments. So uh, I'll put that into the blog. But um, thank you all for your time. Appreciate it.